And good day, good afternoon, good good, good morning, whatever time na napanood nyo itong YouTube channel kong ito, na Agustin Dollar Vlogs. I have 314 subscribers as of today, April 9, araw ng kagitigan, mabuhay po tayong lahat, mabuhay mga Pilipino, mabuhay po tayo. So, thank you so much for visiting my channel. So, kung bago ka pa lang, please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like na rin po sa lahat ng ating mga video. So, I'm here today because I'd like to share with you this um, uh, nagawa kong uh, MAC quiz or MAC exam sa last March 17, which is I am no longer accepting responses. And I have 39 responses from my valued clients def from different uh places around the Philippines. So, I make a questions na 20 items. Tapos, out of 39 responses, it is expected that 16 points yung makukuha nila for them to pass the exam. Kasi nga, yung BCLTE ay um, you need to have a score of 16 or 80 points sa, sa, sa question na sa items na ito na 20. So, hindi ko na patatagalin. So, I'd like to share with you, lalo na sa mga mag exam this, ano, October, ano, sorry, this April 24, ano na lang po talaga, um, two weeks, if I'm not mistaken, two weeks na lang talaga, ay examination date na nila. So, good luck, God bless, sa lahat-lahat lahat ng mga bayot client ko. So, I'd like to share with you the first question that Uh, tinatanong ko lang dito kung if these two statements are true or these three statements are true and I'm happy that majority of my clients the 30 of them able to answer that um, city and municipal I am talking about the ano kung related sa basic community tax no uh, and all of statement A, B, and C are true so Based on the question, city and municipal government may impose a community tax with the following tax rate for individuals. A. Basic community tax is 5 pesos. B. For every 1,000 of income is 1 peso. C. The tax, however, shall in no case exceed 5,000. So, this statement pertains to related to uh, getting uh, at community tax by individual. So far, A, B, C are two statements. Next. The following are exempt from the community tax. A. Uh, number one, diplomatic and consular representative. Number two, transient visitors when their stay in the Philippines does not exceed three months. And 31 of them answered correctly that both statement one and two are true. They are exempt from the community tax. All taxes, fees, and charge shall accrue on January of each year of what date? So, so far, 20 of them answered January 1 and they are correct. Every January 1, all all tax, all local taxes, fees, and charge shall accrue on that particular date of January. This permit allow all businesses the privilege of conducting their business within the jurisdiction of a city or municipality. What permit is that? 37 of them is answered mayor's permit. The treasurer of the local government unit operating a public enterprise shall have the following function in its establishment and operation. So, they believe, they believe that all of these functions are correct. That the treasurer shall advise the local chief executive, subgunian, and, and the management of the public enterprise, its financial aspect. Also advise the sangunian in the enactment of the ordinances and public enterprises. Take custody in the collection and take custody in the funds of all government enterprise and ensure that payments are made duly certified and approved disbursement voucher. All of the choices is correct because all of these functions are functions of a treasurer having a local government unit uh, that being that the local government unit have and operate the operate uh, operates a public enterprise. The local treasurer shall assign every application for the termination of retirement of business to blank, who shall go to the address of the business on record to verify if it is really no longer operating. Sino po yan? The 
answer is inspector in his office and 28 of them answered correctly this is an example source of trust fund of senator and congressman or a national government agency for a varied purposes such as financial medical and educational assistance to the local constituent of its constituent to implement support a project being undertaken by the local government unit what do you call that fund that is priority development assistance fund The debt monitoring system captures the aggregate debt of LGUs and provides early warning if LGUs are nearing statutory of what percentage? 26 of them answered 20% debt selling. A user of a statement of receipts and expenditures that is its relevance is financial report in aid of legislation. Sino po sila? A. DLG, B. NIDA, C. Senate and Congress, last potential donors. Basically, it's about aid of legislation, so the answer is Senate and Congress. Another question. The ESRE or the Electronic Statement of Receipts and Expenditures Cash Basis Report shall be uploaded to ESE Web Information System by all local treasurers on what particular date? Majority answers, 26 of them answers that for the first three quarterly reports, it is on or before 20th of the month following the end of, it, of the quarter. Another one. The failure of the concerned local treasurer to submit timely and or accurate is ESRA report shall constitute sufficient grounds or for filing for filing a complaint in accordance with the revised rules on administrative cases in the civil service the failure to submit the report within the prescribed period is considered what 17 of them answered light offense and that is correct a user of a statement of receipt and expenditure that is relevant that its relevance is LGU performance evaluation. So it's speaking with the relevance of the LGU performance evaluation. The answer is the Department of Interior Local Government. The Department of Interior and Local Government, DILG. Sino pa ito? He or she shall be the custodian of all accountable forms requisitioned by the local government unit. He shall maintain a complete record of the receipt issue issue and transfer of accountable form sino yan 36 answered local treasurer okay the local treasurer shall open and maintain in the name of the respective local government unit separate depository account for each fund in its custody all provincial city and municipal treasurer shall deposit their fund and maintain depository account with what bank the answer of course, the Development Bank of the Philippines and the Land Bank of the Philippines. And 39 of them answered correctly. What do you call this one? It is conducted to ensure It is conducted to ensure that the financial and operational transaction of Bureau of Treasury comply with law, regulations, policies, and procedures. This includes examination, appraisal of financial transaction, to ensure that the adequacy and effectiveness of internal control system. The answer is compliance audit. Kunti lang yung nakasigot. Baka na ano pa ito sila. Uh, sino naman to? He shall exercise general supervision over local government. Of course, our president. The president of the Philippines. The power to impose a tax, fee, or charge, or generate revenue under a local government code of 1901 shall be exercised by what? Of the local government unit concerned through an appropriate ordinance. Of course, it is exercised by the Sangunian. Who shall secure copies of the enacted or approved tax ordinance and revenue measures for public dissemination and implementation? Basically, 
Okay, basically, pinag-usapan dito ang tax ordinances and of course, the person that will implement ay walang iba kundi ang local treasurer. Okay, let's have this sample uh, computation. Compute the tax payable for a retailer in a barangay business establishment located in the municipality. The amount of gross sales from last year's gross income was 18,500. Paano ang nasagot nila ang 185? It is because in a municipality level, tapos uh, merong business establishment na retailer na established in that particular area, dapat po ay kukumpita nito ng 1% of his gross income kung in the, up to 30,000. Again, pag ang gross income niya po ay 30,000 below up to 30,000 gross income, kukumpita lang po ito ng tax rate na 1%. Kaya nagka- uh, ganun ang computation na 18,500 times 1% is 185. Paano naman po ito? Calculate the assessed value of an agricultural land property if the market value is 3,000. The assessment level is 40%. Ibig sabihin nito, bakit nakasagot sila ng 1,200,000 is because the 3 million mar fair market value is multiplied by the 40% given assessment level. So, 3 million times 40%, that is 1,200,000, and that is correct. How about this one? Calculate the real property tax due if the property is located in the province and has an assessed value of 500,000. So, tapos na pong kinumpitan yung fair market value at saka assessment level, in fact, meron na siyang assessed value. At ang tanong, magkano yung real property tax? So, hana ang kukumpitan natin dito ay ang basic property tax at ang kanyang special education fund. Pero pag property, pag ang RPT computation is nasa province, it is expected na 1% po yung basic tax rate at fixed rate na 1% per cent. So, 500,000 times 1% equals 500 pesos, ay, 5,000 5, and another 1% for 500,000 per cent is 5,000. So, ang total payable niya is 10,000. And 33 of them answered correctly. And I think that's it. Hopefully po ay nakatulong ito sa preparation nyo for the exam on uh, April 24. So with that, don't forget to subscribe my channel and abang-abang pa for more discussions for BCLPE 2022. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. God bless you. Aja.